What's that D stand for? Um... Hey everybody, Car Dreamer here, coming at you on behalf of D-Class Derailed and all things D-Class related. And today, I'm going to be taking a look at Super Shredder from Loyal Subjects, their best action line. Uh, I immediately fell in love with the look of this. I know they've got an iffy reputation among collectors. I like the look of their stuff. But as you've seen from previous videos, I do have my own, my, my complaints. But this this just looked too cool to pass up. So I really wanted to to get him to open him up and really take a look at him. I between this and their upcoming uh, IDW turtles, uh, they've got a lot of potential. I think I feel like just at least on the look that I, loyal subjects is getting better as they go. But I'm hoping to prove that to be correct when I open this. So I want to jump right into it. I love the fact that like this is glow in the dark. I know like these two, the the, the green flames are glow in the dark. Uh, I, I think his eyes might. But you know, 31 points of articulation. So I believe this super shredder is based on the uh arcade game the turtles in time arcade game and his subsequent uh video game appearances it's definitely not based on the movie because he didn't do the green flames and have the weapons and such so not that he had the weapons in the uh arcade either but it, it's a nice like the mold the sculpt here is actually a little bit body wise, like a nice blend between the arcade and the movie figure, like what NECA did. So I think this is pretty cool. I, I'm excited to open this up. So let's just not waste any more time. Let's get to this. And here we go. And I am 99% happy with this figure. Like, this is a really cool figure. I shall say 98%. Um, he poses super easy. Articulations in the head. He's got the butterfly uh, joints on the shoulder. His bicep rotates. Elbow joints, wrist joints. The wrists uh, rotate as well as bend. As you can see. like um, He's got the torso twist. His... Thighs, you know, thighs rotate. The kneecap. He's got double jointed kneecap, so that works. He's got the ankles. Um, they're not super tight. They're not uber loose, but I will say the cape is rubber instead of. I, I would have preferred that in this case, even though visually I think it looks good with the rubber. I think. I would have preferred a soft good cape like NECA does only because the rubber makes him top heavy. So it's a little awkward to pose at times. Like I noticed like moving him, that wants to pull him a little bit, but it's not too bad. So that's why I'm giving it 98. The other reason, um, I'm a little disappointed. So they have an open hand with the claw, uh, with his, um, I guess claws there. But they don't do it for the other hand. They don't have another open hand with the claws. So that was a little disappointing. The default ones it comes with are both hands are closed fisted. He does come with a gripping one. And then a two sets. Like you could do both are open handed, but both without the claw. I, I would have preferred to have. They did it with one. Why they couldn't give me. Uh, two, it would have been preferable. Like, I think he looks much more bad, bad a badass with the claws. So I would have preferred that on both hands. But you can do it without. And I guess you won't really be losing too much. Um, I like the claws. So the claws are very, they're soft. So, and I think this is a good thing. Uh, and this is, they're, they're soft all over. And this is a good thing. Because, if you're, especially if you were like a kid playing with them or whatever. Or even as an adult, when you're wanting to change the parts, you're not 
afraid that when you're pulling off the hands to switch them out, or if he falls, whatever, you don't have to worry about them breaking. They're not going to. And yet they look, they don't look like they're that soft rubber, other than like, obviously, because obviously these are really close together. Um, but aside from that, they, they don't look like they are. So I think this is really cool. The weapons, uh, they, they've got that, they got that flex. So if they fall, they're not going to break, but they're sturdy enough to stay up. I think the weapons look really cool. I like them. So yeah, aside from that, and the, getting the flames one was a little, uh, a little awkward until you figured out how, like you had to figure out how they were supposed to go on, and once you did, okay, it wasn't a big deal. It was just annoying because it would have been nice to have a little instruction. But aside from that, I'm not going to complain. Also, he comes with a little trading card. I actually think that's pretty cool that the. All of the loyal subject figures that I bought have come with trading cards. And I think that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. It's better than clipping off the back of the cardboard box or, or package like Playmates used to do. I think this is a not nicer way of doing it. You can have a binder um, to put them in and such. So I, I just think that's really cool. The cards are actually really nice looking. So props, to, kudos to that. But yeah, so I'm actually really cool uh, overall. I'm like really happy with this. I like the uh, pose options. I don't know if he's going to fit where I want to put him. But uh, I worked on trying to make some space in my display for him. It's the only reason I opened him. I try not to open a figure until I have a place for it. But th this is pretty cool. I I'm really, really, really happy. But I would love to know what you guys think about this figure. Uh, leave your comments down below. Like I said, these do glow in the dark. I wish I could show that. But one, it hasn't been charging very long. Two, I think it's very hard for me at least to get glow in the dark to really show on camera. So, but, and plus I want to see what it looks like. You know, I, I, I got to test it. So I should find out probably tonight. But yeah, so overall, I'm really happy with this figure. Please leave your comments to, uh, down below and let me know what you think. I'm Car Dreamer. This has been D-Class Derailed. This is a look at Loyal Subjects Best Action Super Shredder based on the Turtles in Time Turtles in Time Arcade, where all his appearances, I should say, um, in the video games. Until next time, stay evil.